guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Maggie. I make practical daily spoken English videos. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Today is another episode in business English. I know you guys love that. We are talking about 15 English verbs to sound more professional. This video is sponsored by Lingoda. Lingoda Marathon is back. Also, this is going to be their last marathon for a little while. So if you guys want to join, definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Lingoda Marathon is an intensive three month English learning event. If you successfully complete this marathon, you can get up to 100% of your money back. I'll talk more in details at the end of the video. Definitely stay tuned to the end if you're interested. Now give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and let's get started. First one, use provide instead of give. For example, in an email you can ask people, can you give me some samples? That's totally fine and you can write that as well. But if you want to sound more professional, you can definitely replace give with provide. Can you provide me with some samples? Can you provide me with some samples so I can have some reference before we get started? Next one, you can use replace instead of get. For example, I didn't get your report on this topic. You could change that into, I did not receive your report yet. Could you give me an update on that? I did not receive your report yet. Could you give me an update? Next one, attend instead of come. For example, if you're inviting some clients to an event that your company is hosting, you can tell them, would you like to come to our company's anniversary party? Instead of saying that, you can say something like, dear Amy, would you like to attend our anniversary party? Would you like to attend our anniversary party? Next one, use reserve instead of book. For example, seats are limited. Please book your seats ahead of time. In this sentence, you can definitely say, seats are limited. Please make a reservation ASAP. Please make a reservation ASAP. Please reserve your spot ASAP. Next one, inform instead of let somebody know. Dear Amy, can you let me know how's the annual report going? This one is pretty casual, it's totally okay if you're just writing to your coworkers, but if you want to sound more professional, you can definitely say something like this. Dear Amy, could you please inform me on the progress of the annual report? Next one, use contact instead of get in touch. You know how we like to say, let's stay in touch, let's keep in touch at the end of a conversation or at a networking event? If you're writing an email and you want to sound more professional, definitely use contact instead of get in touch. Please contact me at this number. Please contact me at this number. Next one, use reply instead of answer. It's been a few weeks since my last email. I haven't got an answer from you yet. You could say, I haven't received a reply from you. I haven't received your reply. Next one, explain instead of tell me about. For example, can you tell me a little bit about how your company works? You could say something like, could you explain your business model? Could you explain your business model? Next one, select and choose. For example, I provided you with a list of samples. Please choose two or three so I can get started on the work. Um, you could say something like, I provided you with a list of samples. Please select a few so I can get started on my work. Next one, discuss and talk about. For example, you might want to grab one of your coworkers to discuss uh, a project that you have going on. You could say, um, can I grab you for a few minutes? I want to talk about this project. You can definitely say that, but if you want to sound a little bit more professional, you can say, can I grab you for a few minutes? I want to discuss the project with you real quick. I want to discuss the project with you real quick. Next one, submit instead of turn in. This one is more suitable for something like an application. For example, on a lot of job postings, um, companies would use really professional lingual. Um, they would say, please submit your application 
before this date. So if you're trying to write a job posting or something like that, definitely use submit instead of turn in. Please submit your job application before this date. Next one, use prepare instead of getting ready. For example, recently we've been really busy, we're getting ready for busy season. You could say that, but you could also say we are preparing for busy season. We're preparing for our new product launch. We are preparing for our new product launch. Uh, we have been swamped. Next one, use apologize instead of sorry because sometimes sorry just doesn't cut it. For example, if you just say, I'm sorry I'm late, apologize just sound a little bit more formal. I was late today. I apologize. It won't happen again. I apologize. Next one, use ensure instead of make sure. Please make sure that everyone is up to date with our new insurance policy. You can say, please ensure that everyone is up to date with our new insurance policy. So just use insure instead of make sure. That sounds a little bit more formal in the workplace. All right, that's all the 15 verbs to sound more professional. I hope it's helpful to you guys. Now let's talk a little bit more about Lingoda Marathon. Lingoda Marathon 呢，它是一个为期三个月的语言学习的集训班的意思。这一次的日期呢，是从二零一九年的九月二十三日一直到二零一九年的十二月二。十一日，你不仅可以参加英语的马拉松，你还可以参加德语、西语、法语，或者是商务英语的马拉松。具体的参加形式呢有两种，第一种是在这三个月当中，你每天不间断的上一堂课，持续三个月成功完成之后呢 ，Lingoda 会退给你三个月的课程费用。其实呢，这个对你的时间要求还是挺强的，因为每天你要学习大概一小时左右，所以说强度是非常大。当然呢，你付出的努力越多 ，reward 也就是回报越大嘛。你可以把你全部的费用退回，但如果你错过一天呢，就不能退费了，就是收费的学习了。所以大家要注意。另一种学习方式呢是半马拉松，也就是这三个月中的每一个月你上十五节课。那你成功的完成半马拉松之后呢 ，Lingoda 会退给你一半的费用。那注意呢，这一次的报名呢和之前有一些不一样了。这一次如果你保留你的座位。或者是报名，那你直接要交四十九欧元的报名费了，所以大家一定要注意，如果你用我的折扣码呢，可以减十欧元的报名费。之后呢，这三十九欧元会自动的到你的第一个月的课费里面。所以说大家感兴趣呢，可以去描述栏里面看我的链接和折扣码。然后呢，它也有中文的网站，所以大家呢可以进去仔细的读一读它的报名条款和一些使用条款，这样呢你自己会更清晰，然后呢能够确保你成。成功的参加之后，成功拿到退款。Lingoda 这个平台呢，是一个每月付费订阅制的服务。所以说，如果你在第三个月参加马拉松之后，不想继续运用平台呢，不要忘记取消。好，这就是今天的全部内容啦，非常感谢大家的观看，我们下期再见，拜。